scenes but just saying okay we've just arrived at yellowstone national park but we can't enter are there lots of bears coming by the campsites? Oh, um, not usually, no. Oh, man. You wanted to see some? You might. Um, it's more likely you'll see them out on the road. This is where we are. Bay Bridge. So that's Yellowstone Lake. Yeah, be jockey that you check it. I've noticed a lot of people have got some really nice fucking tents and we were not prepared for this shit, man. It was so fucking cold last night. Like these are like three, four layers of sheets on there. <laughs> and we had one. And I am certain that in that tree line somewhere, somewhere there, there are wolves. There would be wolves. There, man. there should be wolves. America, the land of opportunity for corporations built on the backs of slaves and countless genocides around the globe. This country is none like any other. Whether it's the greatest country in the world is up for political debate. But for travelers, this is hands down the greatest country for road trips. In my eight years in the US, I've explored 42 states, had more than 300,000 miles of road trips and countless unforgettable experiences. Now. I'll be sharing with you one of the longest and most exciting road trips across the country. A full loop from coast to coast and back with more than a month on the road. An experience that will take us through some of the most incredible landscapes and cities in the world. Join the Carnival Doge Boys as we travel from one of the largest super volcanoes to the deepest canyons on Earth. From bustling cities to roaring waterfalls and desolate peaks. From alpine lakes to the most iconic coastlines in the world. Subscribe and become a member of our community of travel enthusiasts. Our Karnavadosh Kafla. And tag along for a journey of a lifetime. The Great American Road Trip. As the sun came up the horizon, we set out from South Dakota to Yellowstone for the final leg of our coast-to-coast -coast road trip across the US. Yellowstone is our last destination before we head back home to the west coast. As we head farther west, it's starting to feel more like home. More trees, open land as far as the eye can see. No traffic, just us and these beautiful highways. So much more peaceful than the chaotic life of the east coast. We've made it to the Bighorn National Forest in Wyoming, where we're going to have a short stop from this long ride and set up the GoPro to film our approach to Yellowstone. From this point on, the landscape is about to become increasingly better. You're about to see exactly why I truly believe there is no better country in the world for road trips. Incredible landscapes and long, beautifully built highways are the reason the states have some of the best and most scenic drives in the world. This is Americana. serious issue poking around in the back of our minds. As mentioned in a few previous episodes, we mismanaged our expenses and overspent by a significant amount on an already expensive journey across the states. 
we only have enough fuel and money to get to the Yellowstone National Park entrance and no farther. So how the fuck are we going to continue on exploring Yellowstone? And more importantly, how the fuck do we get back home to Oregon? Sure, we've seen some dressing. Okay, we've just arrived at Yellowstone National Park, but we can't enter. Cute get bad. That's it. Khatam ho gaye. Hamne zara soch samajh ke travel nahi kiya. Thoda extra lag gaya thoda the. And we don't have any money to enter the park or enter our campsite. Um, gas bhi khatam ho gaye. So basically, I'm here. Khade bhi hai. Midway point between where our gas ends and you know our campsite and halfway turning back to the other gas station. So यहाँ से अब हम अगर आगे गए और पैसे हुए तो हो जाएगा सीट अगर ना हुए तो फंस जाएंगे नीचे की तरफ जाना पड़ा तो शायद वो फंस जाएंगे. चीमा भाई को मैं कह रहा हूँ साइन पकड़े खड़े हों. ये बार गोरे शोरे खड़े हैं काफी ये पांच पांच दस दस डॉलर दे देंगे कोई पचास एक भी निकाल देगा ऐसे ही जरा. उम्र वाले लग रहे हैं ये लोग खर्चा कर देते हैं तो तुम ट्राई करो क्या हुआ था कुछ दे ही दें यार बस साइन पकड़े खड़े होना है और हो जाएगा अभी यूएस में ट्रैवल कर रहे हैं छुट्टिया होना पड़ेगा थोड़ा ऐसे ही होता है जब पैसे खत्म हो जाते हैं यार लोग लोग यहाँ पे हेच हाइकिंग करके पूरा यूएस ट्रेवल कर लेते हैं यार हम मैच पांच डॉलर नहीं मांग सकते साइड दिखा ले यार मैच अच्छा भाई अब तो कुछ ऐसी है कि सिग्नल लूज होने से पहले मैंने कुछ दोस्तों को टेक्स किया था कि पैसे भेज दो अगर है एक दो दिन में दे देते हैं ऐसे क्यों गायब हो गए थे तो आ रहा फिर ही बोलता हूँ मैसेज लगे अब नीचे आना शुरू हुआ है वापस About like twenty, thirty minutes back the way we came from. Uh, got got a bar, a single call, my friend, and he sent us some money. It's enough for us to get through tonight. So we'll just, you know, pay off the national park fees and the camping fees and get some gas. So the video is for Raza Bhai. Go up, very good, good day. Okay, उनकी वजह से हमारे अंडे आ गए हैं और हमारी लकड़ी आ गई है थोड़ी बहुत और गैस आ गई है. वरना अभी हम फंसे हुए थे और हमें हमें बातें में समझ नहीं आ रही थी अभी क्या सीन होना है और भूख भी बड़ी हैवी लगी हुई थी जब शाम का क्या निकल भूख भी बड़ी हैवी लगी हुई थी और कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा था लेकिन चलो अब सीन ऑन हो गया और मैं इसी तरह कैमरा भी लगा के छोड़ गया हूँ गाड़ी पर मैं ही बहुत करता हूँ बड़ी किस्मत की बात अभी तक चोरी नहीं हुआ ऐसे टाइम पर अपने ही लोग काम आते हैं सो आई गैस आई शुड से दिस वीडियो इज स्पॉन्सर्ड बाई रजा शारी बिग ऑफ माई ब्रदर Hey, how's it going? Good. Um, yeah, just seven day pass. One day pass, yeah. Thirty-five minutes. Are there lots of bears coming by the campsites? Um, not usually, no. Oh man. <laughs> we were excited to see those. What's that? We, we were excited for some. them. You wanted to see some? Yeah. yeah. You might. Um, it's, it's more likely you'll see them out on the road. Oh, nice. Um by the river maybe. Yeah, I um, think it'd be almost anywhere on. Yeah, we got binoculars. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Right. <laughs> it's good to see him from a distance. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's <laughs> your pass get through the 24th. Okay. Um just keep that dash to your map. What camp ground you had it to? Um Bay Bridge Bridge. It's about yeah. 27 miles up this road. All right. Okay. Yeah. And no tell you all about food storage and good things like that. Okay. Uh -huh. That's perfect. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right. I've been on a quest for the past few years to find a bear in the wild. I've literally hiked everywhere the National Park Service says you should carry a bear spray, and I've yet to see one. I've been to Yellowstone before as well, but no luck. Let's see if my luck's about to change this time. Once we got deeper into Yellowstone, we were honestly at a loss for words. I can't even begin to describe how beautiful this national park is. Or, 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 or. Right, if you live under a rock and you don't know what Yellowstone is or why it's special, I'll try and sum it up quickly. Yellowstone is the first national park in the world, not just the states, the world. It was formed in 1872. A national park is basically a nature park designated for conservation purposes because of its unparalleled natural, historic, or cultural significance. And Yellowstone ticks all of the boxes. It's historically, culturally, and naturally significant. So we're just driving by to our campground, and we—I I smelt it before I saw it. I was like, "All right, wait, wait, wait. we should just look." Hydrothermal vents. 
I can see two. I'm sure. Oh, there's one more over there behind over there. Wait, is this the smell of sulfur? Oh, there's one down there. Oh, that's crazy. Yellowstone is what's known as a super volcano, which is basically a volcano on steroids. But unlike regular volcanoes, when a super volcano erupts, it has global effects. I'm talking end of the world shit. The first major eruption of Yellowstone volcano occurred 2.1 million years ago, and it's among the largest volcanic eruptions ever known, covering over 5,790 square miles with ash. If this thing were to blow up today, the entire Earth would get fucked beyond recognition. It'll basically be the apocalypse. Anyway, we're here to camp today, so we've reserved the campsite, and since it's starting to get late, we need to set up camp as soon as we get there. All right, we're all checked in to our campsite. It's looking quite nice. Um, just gonna unpack and honestly pass out because I'm really, really tired. We've been driving all morning, and uh, we only slept like three hours last night, so. with us we can't make kindling to get a fire going easily and honestly at this point in time we were new to this shit so don't judge my fire starting skills man's got five years of experience starting fires in some of the most inhospitable places in the world now so you know put some respect on the name call me mr big big fireman flame on there's no airflow basically, so it doesn't burn too well. But today, we're going to try and use this air pump. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, that's working. Oh, it was heavy. chicken, the butter, just trying to fry it somehow and have it with some uh, buns, biscuit and an egg, so yeah, I'm going to get a little dirty in the bathroom, I'm going to get a little bit of water, so we're going to get a little bit of oxygen for the oxygen, and the scene is on. Oh, hey, brother, you can see the first star in the distance. But yeah, fuck it. Eat the damn, eat the damn. Okay, good night. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. अधी दुनिया कम चुका स्मॉल खाते खाते और एक्चुअली मैं आसमान भी काफी यस हो गया सीन तो हाँ जी थोड़ी देर और मैं मैं भी फोटोग्राफी अटेम्प्ट करता हूँ ये ऑनस्टली गॉट वे टू कोल्ड टू अटेम्प्ट एनी टाइप ऑफ फोटोग्राफी एंड वी वेस्टेड अ होल मार्शमेलो आफ्टर दैट वी डिसाइड टू कॉल इट अ नाइट 
अच्छा जी हमने टेंशन पैकअप कर दिया है और अभी हम जरा मुँह शूद होने के लिए आए हैं We'll be leaving now to check out Yellowstone a bit, but just on the way to the restroom here, I've noticed a lot of people. I've got some really nice fucking tents, and we were not prepared for this shit, man. It was so fucking cold last night. Like these are like three, four layers of sheets on there, <laughs> and we had one, and it was like a wire mesh shit. So <laughs> not made for this weather. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to get this cold. It's day two at Yellowstone National Park. And after freshening up a bit, we went over the game plan to explore most of the must-see things there. Yes, Yellowstone Lake. Yeah, we go here. Yeah, check it. Ah, we see. Go and see. Then we will go down to the village. Okay. Then we will go down to the village. Okay. Then we will go down to the village. Okay. Then we will go down to the village. Okay. Then we will go down to the village. Okay. Then we will go down to the village. Okay. Then we will go down to the village. Okay. Then we will go down to the village. Okay. Then we will go down to the village. Okay. Then we will go down to the Roosevelt Venture, यहाँ से Mammoth Hot Springs, तो फिर कर लेंगे। फिर काट चुके। Going to drop this off. Right. Started off with a quick stop at Yellowstone Lake, the largest body of water in the national park. साइज देखो ना उस बहन का कुत्ते के साइज का वो गाड़ी के साथ देखो कुत्ते को At the visitor center, we found out we still had some time before the old faithful geyser erupted. So we took a moment to check out the gift shop and get some bling for the FJ. Alright, old faithful is fucking cool, guys. It erupts every 35 to 120 minutes, though the average is around 92 minutes. About 90% of the eruption predictions are accurate within a window of plus or minus 10 minutes. The visitor center has a clock that shows when shit's about to get wet. And it was just about time to witness this iconic feature of Yellowstone first hand. So we set out to the viewing deck. Let me just say the anticipation was real. We were anxiously waiting for her to blow. So while we wait, let me tell you exactly what we're looking at here. The geyser has been erupting with boiling water at regular intervals for as long as records exist. These eruptions reach more than 130 feet and typically last for several minutes. Surface water works its way down to an average depth of around 6,600 feet, where it contacts hot rocks. The pressurized water boils and this causes the geyser effects of hot water and steam spraying out of the geyser's surface vent. Geysers typically have constrictions in their plumbing system that prevent water from moving freely to the surface where heat would escape. The water beneath the constrictions creates a buildup of steam. Eventually, the steam pushes water past the constrictions and the geyser erupts. Fascinates me like nothing else. 
10 out of 10 would watch this 100 times before a Taylor Swift concert. And we got treated to another eruption of a different geezer. Oh, hey, that's very cool. That's, that's the second one we've seen now. Yeah. We were just about to have breakfast there and somebody came in and were like, oh, that's about yeah. to go off, you want to check it out? Yeah. Oh, it's really going, man. That's a great view, the people standing over there. Yeah. That's crazy, that's very nice. And that's funny because we didn't know it was actually going to go off. <laughs> Next on the agenda is passing through Madison and the Five Hole Rivers on our way to the Norris Giza Basin. We're on the lookout for bears and wolves and they've eluded us so far, but let's see if we can get lucky here. so far but we've made it to the Norris Giza Basin. With nearly three miles of boardwalks and trails, the Norris Giza Basin is one of the larger thermal areas in Yellowstone and is also known to be the hottest Giza Basin in all of Yellowstone National Park. And honestly it's one of the most fascinating features here. Norris shows evidence of having had thermal features for at least 115,000 years. The features in the basin change daily frequent disturbances from seismic activity and water fluctuations. The vast majority of the waters are moist are acidic, including acid geysers, which are very rare. <laughs> oh, this is bad. You know, Zafa, tell you a special video on me. I'm gonna appreciate that I'm gonna get you all the big yeah, we be. Man, check it out. Look, how many states are there? और ये काफी सफाई के बाद ये ऐसी लग रही है एक वॉश भी हुआ है बीच में है ना हां वो ये वॉश के बाद ऐसी लग रही है नाउ इट्स टाइम टू हेड अप द मोस्ट आइकॉनिक वाटरफॉल्स इन येलोस्टोन लोकेटेड नियर कैनियन विलेज दिस प्लेस इज कॉल्ड द ग्रैंड कैनियन ऑफ येलोस्टोन एंड इट्स रफली 20 माइल्स लॉन्ग the canyon was formed by erosion as the Yellowstone River flowed over progressively softer and less resistant rock. The first of the two 
falls we're here to see is called the upper falls because it's upstream of the lower falls. Not very original names, but they make up for it in sheer power and beauty. The upper falls is 109 feet tall and a sight to be. of Upper Falls is, you guessed it, Lower Falls, a staggering 308 foot waterfall that is so powerful that we can hear it from such a far viewpoint. to Lamar Valley to check out some wildlife hopefully um, I think this is our second last spot uh, in Yellowstone and we're like I'm, I'm starving uh, I wanted to leave now but we really want to check this out because the sun's about to go down and this is the time when the animals come out and Lamar uh, Valley this is the perfect place for the wildlife oh here. yeah this is perfect like this place is known for bulls um, we've got binoculars we'll look around a bit we're just keeping an eye out to see if there's any signs of movement you see any elk or yeah. any bison or anything if you could see anything we would yeah, stop I'm, I'm, I'm a few months away from being a zoologist you know certified so I'm gonna <laughs> use that knowledge I'm gonna use that knowledge and try to figure out where these fuckers are but I don't, like honestly I'm just like I don't even let it get there let's see what happens it could go either way <laughs> Valley is where most of the wolf and bear hunts are witnessed in Yellowstone, so we're hopeful that my degree might come in handy to spot any signs of predators. The massive, massive herd of uh, bison just around this corner over there. I'm, I'm almost certain that they are being followed by wolves because there's like some really young ones in there. I'm pretty sure if we're gonna find some predators, bears, wolves, whatever, it's gonna be with this herd. So just over there, there is one massive herd of bison. There's another massive bird over there, and then there's one more way back over there on the beach. Oh, just yeah, past the river. See them. And I am certain that in that tree line somewhere, somewhere there they, are wolves. They do, they, there should be wolves, because if they aren't, then I don't know what the fuck they're eating, you know? <laughs> as soon as I stopped at an area that looked perfect for a hunt, I came across this guy with a zoom lens that was more expensive than my car. I asked him if he'd spotted anything, and he told us we were late by two days. We spent the entire week right here filming a pack of wolves and four grizzly bears feasting on some bison the bears had managed to hunt down. It's like the universe was taunting me at this point, having a laugh. We missed four bears and eleven wolves feasting on some bison by just two days. Two fucking days. Come on, man. So close, yet yeah, so far. What was it running from? Oh, there, there, there. running across the valley, elk that looked like they were on steroids, and a lot more that we couldn't really film because I had a shitty standard zoom lens at this point and I hadn't learned how to use my camera properly. Bison get a 
I'm almost certain just behind um, that tree line over there, there's some walls. My, my fucking lens can't capture that, so <laughs> whatever. You can hardly tell there, there are bisons over there. It's a huge, huge herd of them over there. तो हम लोगों ने काफ़ी इंजॉय किया ये लुस्तान चेक आउट सम वाइल्ड लाइफ है गॉस नाइस शॉट्स चेक आउट सम रियली कूल स्पॉट्स है अब जो है भाई हम थक गए हैं और भूख बड़ी लगी है और आई थिंक इट्स लाइक ए ट्वेंटी टू आर ड्राइव समथिंग बैक टू कवाली सो इट्स टाइम टू गेट स्टार्ट लेकिन पहले रोटी जाए खाइए This has been an incredible experience so far, but we're not done just yet. We have one last place to visit: Mammoth Hot Springs. Springs is home to vibrant travertine terraces. It was like watching nature put on an art show, and we were surely impressed. whiffs of sulfur on our trip, and trust me, neither of us wanted to leave or have this trip come to an end, but it was time to leave Yellowstone and get back on the road for the final stretch to home base. Roti khana hai fir aike asdi basti. an epic journey one i've done a few times in my 8 years in the states we've got a long drive from yellowstone back to the west coast but every second of it is truly fucking amazing and we're taking the scenic route passing through idaho and going a bit north to washington state before finally going south to its origin say Oregon is the best state in the law 48 repeatedly. Well, I stopped making YouTube videos after this trip, so you'll have to go onto my Instagram to see why I say that. But I did manage to find some old Oregon vlogs on my hard drive, so I might just chop them all up and make a single video to show you a small glimpse of the beauty of Oregon. Stay tuned.